How's it going, YouTube? Sonic Soundtracks 1 here. I want to apologize to my viewers out there for having been gone for quite a while. But I'm in my last stretch of this semester of college, and it's pretty tough, so you're going to have to deal with this next week and a half of mostly my absence. Now, I want to share this topic with you because this topic just recently came out as of a few days ago. And it's a topic that is pretty controversial and pretty much the aftermath of this whole Ferguson drama. Race issues. Because the issue I want to talk about today revolves around the murder of a man named Zamir Begic. And I apologize if I mispronounced it. But you see, Zamir Begic was a Bosnian immigrant who was living in St. Louis with his newly wed wife of six months. And one night, one night while they were driving, I believe it was this past Monday, they were driving down the road and then they were stopped by at, by at least a gang of five black teenagers. And I believe one of them was Hispanic. I can't remember exactly, but they were stopped by these teenagers. He was, I don't, I think he was dragged out of his car or some altercation happened and he was defending his wife and himself from these attackers and these five black teenagers then proceeded to punch him on the ground and bash his head in with hammers deliberately killing him now this is a real tragedy and it's got the bosnian community outraged mainly in St. Louis and probably over in Europe as well. Because this was just an innocent man and his newlywed wife just really minding their own business because it was said at the same time that these five black teenagers and one Hispanic were, in fact, yelling slurs such as, Kill all white people! White people should die! And it was all done in the aftermath of Ferguson. Now, the St. Louis police said that they don't think that the crime, murder against Zamir Begic was a hate crime. Well, when you look at five teenagers and how they were indirectly motivated by the riots in Ferguson from pretty much this past week, you should have to see that there is some connection to them being unacceptably motivated by that event and I really hope that these teenagers get punished swiftly life sentence no parole whatsoever I wouldn't advocate the death penalty for them because if they if they die at the end of their prison sentence if they're put to death they're not going to learn anything from what they have done that but that's just my opinion Zamir and his family should be should be brought justice. Justice really needs to come to them. Now, now that I've said that out of the way and the tragedy of this whole situation, I do feel sorry for Zamir and his family. I want to now look at both sides of this situation. Both sides of people who are not paying attention to the story and pretty much people who are supporting Zamir Begic, which unfortunately turns out to be white supremacists and racists who are unleashing their inner racism in the aftermath of the Ferguson riots. I want to offer equal criticism for both of these sides as best I can. Excuse my ranting, but I want to start off with the side of the media coverage, not paying attention to this. Yes, I will honestly admit that the media in this country is totally fucked up. News used to be so balanced, and now there's only like a cer certain agenda coming for from these news networks. Why haven't the three major news networks talk about it? Why isn't CNN or MSNBC talking about it? The only major news network that has had the balls to talk about this was Fox News. Doesn't make me hate them less. Doesn't make me look past their right-wing propaganda bullshit. And certain websites and some people here on Tumblr have actually 
come out in support of Zamir and his family. Now I can understand that. But to some of these people, you've taken so long at covering this Ferguson crap, this unacceptable Ferguson stuff that has been going on since August. Why don't you already take a break from that and just get back to what you're supposed to do. Covering news on other situations like this. And now, I don't think that the lack of media coverage from other new news organizations or the three big cable companies, I don't think their lack of coverage is a result of them being racist towards Zamir and his family or part of some mainstream media or some right left-wing bias or liberal bias. I don't think it's really connected to any of that. But now I want to turn my attention to the people who are in support of Zamir, which happen to be mainly, as I said before, white supremacists and racists. These people who are coming out in support of Zamir and his family are the same type of people who are calling the protesters in Ferguson and are calling protesters across the nation niggers, thugs, and violent offenders. Uh, I'm just at, lo at a loss for words at what is going on because I am beginning to lose more and more hope. Just why? And all these people are bringing out these stuff like, oh, why, why aren't people talking about this more? Why aren't people ignoring the black on white crime? We should look, it's all lives matter stuff. <laughs> it's hard to wrap your head around at first, ladies and gentlemen, but if you really look at it closely, it's not actually the a pretty sight to look at because all these people who are coming out in support of Zamir and his family as well are also the same type of people who hate immigrants. You know, hate immigrants, whether they're legal or illegal. And all these people who are coming out in support of Zamir, these white supremacist folks, these people probably did not even give a shit about Bosnians when they were under genocide during the 90s and probably up to day. And these people probably can't even point to Bosnia on a fucking map. So how come this Bosnian man is important to you when all the other Bosnians from across sea or all the other Bosnians immigrants here in America don't matter. Oh, is it because he's white? Is it because the Fox News host showed this stuff? Is it because your right-wing propaganda news sources and your conspiracy websites are reporting on it all? It's got wrapped up all in your head. Don't try to care about something when you actually despise something, and that is immigrants. Do you really think that this is going to actually help Zamir and his family? I feel sorry for Zamir and his family, but I will, and I, and I will feel sorry for him, but I will not feel sorry alongside these white supremacist people who are standing beside him just because of the color of his skin. I'm, tr I try to do the best I can, but give me your thoughts on this Zamir Begic. And do you find this a tragedy? Do you find the media at fault for their coverage? Do you also find white supremacists who are coming out in support of Zamir to be posers, to not really be caring at this whole story? Just give me your thoughts. I'm too worn out and have a cold. Just have a good day.